Hey all, this is my fourth lecture on arrays and today we are going to discuss how we swap the elements at different positions in the array. So it's swapping in arrays. For different reasons we need to interchange the values in an array from one position with another position. So we'll be doing three examples for such purpose. One is you have to swap the elements at even positions with their adjacent odd positions in the array. So here I'm given an array and what I need to do is that let's say I have a position 0, I need to swap it with its adjacent odd position. So if I'm at 0, I'll be interchanging it with position 1. If I'm at position 2, I'll be changing with 3. If I'm at 4, I'll be interchanging with 5 and so on. In this example, you can see we have this array of size 10 where I have these 10 elements and down here we show the array after the interchange. So once the interchange is done, the first two numbers, that is 67, 23, are changed as 23, 67. Then again, position 2 and 3 are interchanged, position 4 and 5 are interchanged, so on up to 8 and 9. So this is the result I want out of this. But how are we going to code for it? The code would be quite simple since we can see that we have to swap A0 with A1. Then we have to swap A2 with A3. A4 with A5 means if my index is at a position, my index is I, I need to swap it with one position ahead and that one position ahead would be I plus 1. So we need to interchange AI and AI plus 1. So the basic algo for this would be we read the array, we set I as 0 and then if you repeat the following steps till I is less than n minus 1. I have taken n minus 1, not n, because I want that when I check the position, I make sure that I have the next adjacent number available for swapping. So, initially i is 0. It is going to swap a0 with a1. a0 goes to temp, then 0 plus 1, that is a1, goes to a0. And then at a1, we get the value which we saved in temp. So the value at a0 goes to a1 and the value at a1 goes to a0. After that, i is incremented by 2. i was initially 0. It becomes 2 after the increment. Then we go to step 3 again and check 2 is less than 9. Yes. Then a2 and a3 gets interchanged. Then i becomes 4. 4 is less than 9. Then your a4 and a5 get interchanged then a6 and a7 and finally i is 8, 8 less than 9 is true so a8 and a9 are interchanged. After that this becomes 10 and 10 less than 9 is false so it stops. So that's how it works for swapping the elements at adjacent positions. So this is the basic algo. Now let's see how the program works for the same. So for that I'm working in Turbo C. You can work in code block, Dave C++, any of the interface which allows you to work with it. So we have to take an array of 10 elements. So we initialize some elements over here. So I put any 10 elements initially in the array. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and here we go for 10. So these are the initial elements I have taken in the array. Now what I need to do is I need to interchange these. So for interchanging one variable I need is A and I need temp for the swapping thing. I can take N as 10 in this. And now let's just print the initial array first. So I want to print the initial array. So print array before interchange is. So array before interchange is, we take a loop for that. So the loop goes from 0 to less than n and we're going to print the value and let's give a tab for all the values over here so that they're printed on the same line with a space in between. So this loop will print all my initial array elements on the screen. Then I need to swap. So I need a loop which would swap this. For that, I've taken i which starts from 0 i less than n minus 1, i plus plus, oh, we should not take i plus plus, we have to increase it by 2, so it should be i plus equal to 2, so that it increases by 2 in every iteration rather than increasing by 1. So, 
then we have to put ai in temp then ai plus 1 in ai and finally temp in ai plus 1 so this makes the swap so swapping is done so how does it work i is initially 0 it's less than 9 so a0 goes to temp a1 goes to a0 and temp goes to a1 so this is how it repeats as we've discussed in the algorithm now i want to print the result back on the screen after the exchange so after interchange or swap array is we need to print the array again so to print it again you have to put the loop again which starts from 0 goes up to n and we need to print the elements with the tab so that they're printed on the same line with the space in between that's it so that's how the program is over now Let's execute this. So we have our initial array as 34, 78, 12 and all, the 10 elements. And you can see in the resultant, the adjacent elements are swapped. We get 78, 34 as first two elements, then 90, 12 are swapped, then 67, 55 and so on. So this is how a program for swapping adjacent positions work. I hope you understood this. Now comes the next thing. Next thing is that we have just done how to swap the elements at adjacent position. Another very common example is you have to swap the first half of the array with second half of the array. So if I have to swap first half of the array with second half, that means if my array is of size 10, I have to swap these first five elements with rest of the five elements. That means my 56 should be swapped with 67 as you can see in the resultant array down here. So 56 and 67 are swapped, then 23 and 78 are swapped, 12 and 90 are swapped, and so on. And if we consider the positions, so A0 is swapped with A5, that is A0 plus half of the array. A1 is swapped with A6, A2 with A7, A3 with A8, and A4 with A9. So we can clearly see that the difference in their indexes is 5. Why? Because the size of the array is 10. So the difference between the index is half of that, so that we go to the half of the array. So if your number of elements is n, basically you need to swap ai and ai plus n upon 2. That is 0, 0 plus 5, that is a5, 1, 1 plus 5, that is a6, and so on. So the algorithm would be like this. We have to read our array. Then i is initially 0 and this time I'm going to repeat step 4 to 7 till i is less than n upon 2. Because again, we are swapping, a pair is always swapped. So if you have 10 elements, you need 5 swaps. So here, the swaps would be n upon 2. We have to set temp as ai and in ai, I have to put ai plus n upon 2. That is half. And then in ai n plus 2, you have to put temp so that these values get interchanged. And I'm going to increase i by 1 this time, not by 2, because my index should move as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it will be interchanged with the second half of the array. So that's how we interchange first half of the array with second half of the array. And if I have to do the same thing in program out here, so this is swap half. In swap half, uh, we have to initialize the array in the same way as we did last program. Then we have to show the values. That's quite okay. We have shown the values over here. And then what I have to do is I have to swap. So the loop should start from 0, should go up to n upon 2. And this time it should be i++. plus plus. And instead of swapping ai with ai plus 1, I should swap ai with ai plus n upon 2. So that is the change I have to make in the code for the indices. And now we'll be executing the program. Rest of the code is same because you have to show the errors the same way. The only thing that changed is the position where we had to swap the values. So now in the result, you can see the initial array is this 
and first five elements have gone as the last five elements and last five has come to the first five position. So that's how your first half of the array can be interchanged with the second half of the array. Now comes another example for this, the third one that is reversing an array. I have an array, I have to interchange the values in such a way that my array gets reversed. That means the first element becomes the last, the second element becomes the second last and so on. So if this is my initial array, you can see over here in the result, 47 gets swapped with 67, 23 gets swapped with 34 and so on. So we're coming from both sides to towards the center and the last swap would be A4 and A5. So the first swap needs to be A0 with A9, A1 with A8, A2 with A7 and so on till the middle. Now we need to find out the relation between the two positions. One option is I can take two separate variables i and j. i starts from 0 and j starts from n minus 1. i should increase every time and j should decrease every time. And I can swap their values. But if I don't want to use j, then I can make a relation between the positions like if i is 0, the second position is n minus 1 minus 0. So n minus 1 for this example is 9. 9 minus 0 would be 9. So it will swap a0 with a9. When i becomes 1, it is swapped with n minus 1 minus i. That is 9 minus 1, which is 8. So a1 gets swapped with a8. When it becomes 2, it becomes n minus 1. That's 9 minus 2, which is 7. So a2 gets swapped with a7 and so on till the middle. So we have read the array. We start i with 0 and the loop goes for half of, of the array. That is n upon 2 times. And what do we swap? We swap ai with an minus 1 minus i. So that it should interchange first and last element, second and second last, and so on till the middle of the error. So that's how we can reverse an error. So if I have to make the change in the code, so what change we'll make here? So it would be swap reverse, and we just need to change the loop. So this time it is going to be n minus 1 minus i. Rest of the thing is same. Let's change the position out here also. n minus i minus 1. So when i is 0, n minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. So a0 and a9 gets swapped. When i becomes 1, a1 and a8 gets swapped. Then a2 and a7, a3 and a6 and then a4 and a5. So you can see here we get the reverse of the array. So that's how we can reverse an array by interchanging the positions, the values in the array. So these were the three examples. Like this you can get anything to interchange. The basic criteria of interchanging is just find a relation between the positions. If you are able to find the positions and the relation between them, which have to be swapped, it's so simple to code for it. I hope you understood how the swapping works with arrays. If yes, do like the video and share with your friends so that they can also get benefit out of it. And yes, don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have yet not subscribed. To download the videos, I'm providing the links below in the description so you can download the programs which we did in this lecture from those links. Thank you.